is a uh, uh, photovoltaic company, and it's one of the largest uh, uh, sun film and crystal solar panel manufacturer. Right now, we are uh, uh, the capacity is already ramped up to uh, 500 to 800 megawatt by end of the year. So basically, we position that as one of the leading volume producer for solar panels. Similar to Santec, for example, or are you operating in a different market space in terms of yeah. crystal and silicon? Okay, in crystal uh, silicon, I think in some uh, degree is in the same market. Okay. But our business model and also the uh, uh, vertical integration chain is different uh, than Suntech. What about the uh, thin film segment compared to, say, first solar? Uh, some film, we adapted the uh, uh, tantum junction uh, silicon-based technology. And it's different from first solar. Uh, it's basically it's a, a, a new technology with uh, a high potential and uh, uh, there's no pollution for this one, it's not a taxon, and uh, uh, also the, uh, uh, it's a large panel. Some film is a, it's a little bit different market than the traditional uh, panel. So the focus on, um, because the, the technology uh, is a little bit different, they are more sensitive to the uh, sun light, like they call the diffusion light, and actually the matters is, uh, you know, for the power plant, the sauna, eventually the matter is the kilowatt hour they generate it, right? So the efficiency is slightly lower. However, their generation uh, power time for each day is much longer. So they can work in the weak light. So as long as the day is, uh, you know, it's a daytime, they're generating power. Where are you pursuing that market in terms of geography? Uh, we are a global company, so right now uh, the solar company, I mean solar market is still, Europe is the largest one, and uh, also the U.S. Is, uh, is coming up, and also as you know this year China has opened their own uh, photo, um, you know, power plant market, and the first uh, utility, national level utility market is called the Dunhuang Project, uh, it's held by China State Department and uh, the, the Energy Bureau. They are actually authorized to do a, a beating. This, the purpose, the objective for that one is to establish a Chinese solar industry's commercial and the technology standard. We participated in this uh, space and we actually become winner of this project, the China First Utility. Congratulations. Winner. Thank you. The solar industry has been uh, undergoing a, a shakeout in the past few years. There have been uh, various issues. At this stage, um, looking, say, uh, ahead for two or three years, mm -hmm. what are the major challenges that Best Solar is facing and what are your strategies in overcoming them? Mm -hmm. Solar industry is uh, consolidating or it's a, uh, uh, you know, it's an adjustment, right? I think it's very, very normal. And as the new industry, if you remember, semiconductor industry, uh, when they started, they actually go to this cyclical uh, uh, pattern. Um, but uh, however, the industry average for long term is growing. Uh, it's the fastest growing industry. And the uh, semiconductor taking 30 years from starting to mature. And there are seven downturns and upturns. The Chinese solar industry has been doing really well. What do you think, what have you, what do you think are the, the factors mm -hmm. behind that um, so far? Mm -hmm. And um, how do you think uh, the Chinese solar, in, solar industry, mm -hmm. um, what are the top strategic issues going mm -hmm. forward to stay in the leadership position? I think this has come from the, um, all the factors. The first, uh, China right now have uh, enough capital to do the large business. And second, the solar industry technology is relatively uh, uh, open and available. And third one is uh, uh, actually the uh, China's uh, uh, industry is very, very flexible. And in the last few years, they are also pursue the uh, uh, profit very, very quickly, respond to marketing demand very, very quickly. If you compare China and the US solar industry, it's very, very interesting. And for uh, in the 19, I mean in 2005 to 2007 time frame, the U.S. Uh, venture capital actually invested almost two billion dollars into the all type of solar industry, right? The startups. So they treated it as like a semiconductor is a highly technology industry. And uh, China is on the other hand is very different. Uh, players get into this industry uh, 
is not have a lot of technology background and have a, a, you know some capital. Really, they are treating us a, a marketing driving and manufacturer driving business. So in two years, actually, there are more than five to ten companies in China. Uh, solar company went to IPO and also build a scale. And on the other hand, the technology companies right now in the Silicon Valley, uh, they are still looking for next round of capital. So the business model we are really thinking is the manufacturer and the marketing driving business. Um, that's that's why I think in China, the you look at the, all the uh, most of the investors or big companies today, they have little or not much solar background before, and they are accumulating some capitals from other industry and they break into this uh, solar industry uh, very quickly and build up the scale. So that's the secret weapon, is a scale matters. And for solar industry, it's, a, it's really a, 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 you know, it's a commodity industry. It's a, a innovation plus scale, okay? So innovation also in technology and also should be in business model. Uh, not technology alone is not enough. So, so that's I saw the difference. I come from very heavy uh, technology background, but I see this sauna have a little bit different uh, flavor uh, in terms of the industry growth. Right. There's a um, sign of a kind of a world trade war. Uh, Germany and possibly the U.S. are both considering tariff on on solar products. Uh, what's your position on that? Um, I think you look at this from two um, fronts, right? Uh, we are we were talking about this in Europe and talk about this in China, and also I think for U.S. is a similar thing. I think in the uh, right now the global uh, trading is very very important, uh, free trading and the industry you know collaboration to each other is very important for solar industry. Of course, in last year, the uh, the cost of the solar or the marketing price for solar has dropped significantly. Right? I think it's also healthy because the industry is right now still government subsidized. It's very expensive, and they did drive down the price. It's number one, they, they means the marketing required to drive down the price. And however, for there, there's some anti-dumping or you know this type of uh, movement uh, or in in talking. But uh, uh, I talked to some colleagues in Europe and uh, in, in US. Uh, they thinking may not become real. It's a talking. It's a you know right now the world is very small, and like a German company, they actually manufacture in China, right? And also they benefit from no cost. I think important is uh, is a marketing rule driving. It's not subsidized by government, and so you 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 are not selling really under your manufacturer cost. So I think later on, where segmentation in the world means, uh, in some area they may be do more suitable to doing manufacture, some area more suitable to doing some higher margin business like design, and also the installation. But marketing wise, is uh, is open to I I I think it should be open to each um, land continent, and also there are more and more areas U.S. China can collaborate. In. For example, in addition to equipment and to panel, there are, could be in the capital market. Solar is a heavy capital uh, driving uh, industry and it pumping billions of dollars into this uh, market. Right? So right now, the, uh, I, I see it already starting to uh, discussion and mutual movement uh, between US and China and of course the US and uh, Europe. Right? So, so this will be uh, a, a good movement, good chain and will help the industry a lot.